today's video is just going to be another bodge on how to recycle stuff that I managed to find. So the um, chair on the right has been damaged by someone standing on it and they've removed the metal slats but the back is still okay and the frame as a whole is still okay. So using a bit of rope that was found in the sea I'm going to turn it into something that looks like a chair on the left. The width of rope that I found is in the region of 15 to 18 mil. I haven't measured it exactly, um, but I've used it before. And um, uh, whatever length you need is dependent on how thick it, your rope is. Okay, I've worked out that I need about 24 feet. No, sorry, 24 meters to do one chair. But I will update that if, uh, if it's less. Right, okay. So the first thing we need to do is wrap the chair thus and you need plenty of slack and then the easiest way to do it is just to carry both bits around like this. And then get like that and keep doing that until you get 10 wraps. Keep going. Okay, so that's my initial 10 wraps. Right, the next thing to do is put an eye, or to secure the end, however you want to do that. I mean, you could just tape it up, you could whip it up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an eye splice in the end of this just because I can. And for me, it's probably easier to do that than trying to splice it. Uh, sorry, trying to whip it. Okay. Right, this next bit is going to be quite fiddly, so I'll get back to you when I've finished. Now this would probably be a lot easier if I had a set of fids. They're quite expensive, and so far I've been able to manage through without them. Okay, I reckon I've got this layer and one more to do, and then that should be good. The next bit is to sort the strands out so that they're not tangled up. So we started at the loop end like this and we come round, these are all separate. Now we have to do the rest. Okay, so I'm pulling them tight enough so that they stay in position but they're still plenty of slack in this rope. And you want them to be about the same above and below. So whatever you do, try and keep it consistent. Okay, so now we have 10 wraps around the chair and they're not in a knot. So the next bit we're going to do is we're going to go around the bar at the bottom 
pull a little bit through. Then we're going to go down the first loop, but on that loop there's a bit on the bottom, so we're going to go under that and then over the next loop and under that component bit. Okay, and you have to make sure you uh, don't get in a tangle. And then over and uh, Right, so, as you can already see, or maybe you can't, you can see we've now got this, and then this will come through the other way. Right, so, to make this work, I've got to pull the whole loop through, which is going to take a while, so I'll get back to you. I've got the first all the way through, and you can see this is still very baggy. However, this will tighten up once we get this rope as far over as we can get it. Alright, so we're going to come up around the back with the rope again and then go reverse to what this previous rope did. So where this rope went on top, it now goes underneath. So it goes underneath, like that, and then underneath. Okay, beating it obviously helps you get further down here so we can get some more back to front end. So I've now cut my rope to length um, and I'm going to pull it all the way through each time because I think it's just going to be easier than trying to get through. When you get more into the tight bits you have to do more vertical movement of the rope going up and down. You can't just pull the rope through anymore. And what you'll find with this three core stuff is it'll want to twist. So you have to pull those out. Thank you. 
Now the hardest bit I found is um, finishing what to do with this tail. Now on other ones I've managed to put an eye splice in but uh, you could always just tuck it in, hide the end away somewhere and give it enough wraps and it's not going to come out anywhere. Like that. Or you could tape it, you could tie wrap it, cable ties, whatever you choose. So, managed to get an eye around, hopefully I can finish it off. One complete a chair, and a pair of cushions, there you go, outdoor seating, and that's it, end of video.